Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Donath from Joint Effort Chiropractic here in White Plains, New York. Today, we're here with Christy. Christy's 33 weeks pregnant, and I'll let her tell you a little bit about her experience so far, but there's so much fear and unknown when you're pregnant, you're in pain, and you don't know who to go to or what to do. So today we're gonna demonstrate kind of what I do in an average visit with a with someone who's pregnant. We treat a lot of, a lot of pregnant women here. Christy, just if you could tell, tell the audience a little bit about what you've been experiencing in your pregnancy. Yeah, so I came to Dr. Donath probably about five or six weeks ago, at this point um, in a ton of excruciating back pain. I mean, I could not take a step um, without shooting pain going up my spine. And it's something that I hadn't experienced before until I was pregnant. So I desperately came here having never seen a chiropractor before. So I definitely get the hesitance, especially if you're pregnant, and gave it a shot. And so in the first few sessions, really didn't know what to expect, um, but it took us probably about a good four to five sessions together. I am feeling a million times better and I'm able to get back to exercising um, as I normally was before. So highly recommend if you're pregnant coming sooner rather than later. Okay, so we're gonna just demonstrate, uh, this, is, this is actually her real visit. So I'm gonna treat her as, a, as I usually do and uh, you'll see kind of what we do. I do a technique called ART, active release technique. Bring your head back for me and down. Where we're gonna treat uh, the muscles, the myofascial adhesions that I feel in the muscles down. Good, back up and down. This time take your right hand across your left knee. So, yep, down and reach across. Good. Good. Next one, we're going to move to the rhomboids. So, want to do this one? Yep. Great, okay, next, let's go. On your side, face the windows. So this is very, very common with pregnant women. They get pain in their glutes, their piriformis, their psoas, their hip flexor. So again, I'm gonna do a lot of this ART. Um, Christy knows the moves because we've done them before. So we're kind of finding the adhesions in the muscle. And as I trap them, she's lengthening the muscles underneath my hand. Back up. So the way I describe it is if you have a, a new paintbrush and the bristles are, are new and they're moving, they're gliding smoothly, everything goes well, but after a while you get old paint chips stuck in the paintbrush. And then the muscles, they don't, you know, the, uh, the bristles, they don't run so smoothly. And so uh, what we're doing is we're trying to strip the, those old paint chips off the paintbrush and get the bristles or muscles to glide properly again. It's very, very sought after in athletes, uh, but it works really, really well in pregnant women as well. Okay, Christy, I'm going to switch to the, uh, the one where we kick the leg out. Forward. Good. Okay, now we're going to do the psoas, the hip flexors. I'm ready. Nice job. Okay. Okay, stay where you are. So now I'm gonna give Christy a very, uh, a very soft adjustment, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the joints in her back that feel stuck, and I'm gonna try and get them to be, get unstuck, okay? So I'm gonna move a little bit. It's very light, very gentle. Sometimes there's a soft pop, just like a knuckle cracking. Sometimes there's no pop. It doesn't matter. We're just trying to get motion into the joint, okay? So I'm gonna let your shoulder kind of drop back. and just get closer. Okay, let me have both hands, please. And that moved nicely. It didn't hurt, right? Nope. Okay, other side. And that's it, that's as gentle as it is. Um, it's very, very light pressure, very safe for the baby. 
Uh, I treat pregnant patients all the way through their ninth month with no problems. I treated my own wife through our kids and uh, never had an issue at all. Okay. So now we're doing the same thing we did on that side. We're going to do it on the other side. Good. How's my pressure? Okay. Good. Okay, back to the hip flexor. Backwards, backwards. Good. On the side to get up. You know what? Let's take. Let's let's go back on your side. Okay. I want to demonstrate a proper, a really a really good tip of how to get up. So go on your side this way. Okay. Yeah. This is how I teach all my pregnant patients how to get up properly. Very very important. She's using her top hand on top. Okay. She's gonna push down and she's gonna pop herself up on her right elbow and then swing her legs down to the floor, which helps her guide her up, gives her momentum to come up. That's the proper way to get to get out of bed for a pregnant patient or just in general if you have back pain. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pregnancy pillow. Can you see the pillow? This pillow is specially designed to treat pregnant patients. So there's a gap here for the belly and the chest and the head. And they can just sink in, sink down. It's much more comfortable for them to be on their belly, even if it's uh, 33 weeks pregnant. And we'll treat pregnant patients all the way through uh, to the end of their pregnancy on this pillow, and they, and they have a lot of comfort. And now I'm just doing some soft traction, trying to move the vertebrae apart a little bit, give her a little more space. There's some segments that feel a little bit stuck up here in her upper back. So I'm gonna give her a little adjustment up here. Because she's on a pillow, there's so much air I have to push through, so it's gonna seem a little bit more violent than it is. Take a deep breath and let it out. That's all it is, just putting a lot of pressure, really fast, getting the joints to move a little bit better. Okay, Christy, when you're ready, come up. And so that is your average visit for a pregnant patient. Uh, I'll let Chrissy tell you, and I, I think she'll say it's very comfortable. There's no pain. We try to get patients better as fast as possible. Yeah, no, I mean, you get used to it. It's a good relief to have. Um, and I, like I said before, would highly recommend it if you're experiencing any back pain at all during your pregnancy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully you'll like this video and share it with your friends.